So I'm out getting my food plot limed, and I've got this little, like, Scott's, like, seed spreader kind of thing. And I've just discovered that this is the best way to put out lime, um, especially, like, the crushed, pulverized lime. You know, you can walk around. Like I was doing back here, I was walking around and just spreading it by holding the bag. But you don't get it laid out perfectly. There's a lot of spots where it's really heavy and a lot of spots where it's not. But I've been using this beast here and look at that path that it's been making right there. You just walk and it just spreads it nice and fine and even. So you don't end up wasting it. You end up spreading it where you want it to go. So I'm gonna keep going here with this and give it a shot and I'll kind of show you how it works. So this beast has got a handle on it so it can adjust the level of opening on it. And as I walk, there's a this thing that spins and it kind of drops it out. So as you can kind of see, it comes out nice and even. This is literally the best way to do it. Okay, so look at this right here. What that is right there, that is one 50 pound bag. This right behind you here, that took me five, five bags to do that. And this is not much smaller than that area over there, but you end up wasting it. If you look at this, look at these big piles that I just have sitting here. Whereas this is so evenly and finely spread out. It's a really great way to do it. And then the other thing that's a huge advantage of this is I'm not getting dust and crap all over my face. So this is a great way to do it. I'm gonna even show you this, this spreader here. It's the Scott's AccuGreen 1000. It's got that set up here. That's this with a full 50 pound bag of lime in it. So it's just a uh, just about too much, but it's enough where you could get going on or you can even just kind of spread it out a little bit, fill in the gaps, and there you go. It's ready to go. All right, so the only drawback that I have seen, there's two of them so far. The first is just, you, it's pretty tough when you're on bumpy soil here. Like I've got a couple bumps right up ahead of me, I'll show you. You can still get over it, it's just you gotta be careful because these handles aren't exactly the most stable and you don't wanna like crank on it and then break it. So that's the first drawback. The second drawback is just that it takes a little bit longer, but I think that's a benefit because you can control how much you actually put out. You could actually put out the, the exact amount that you want if you go across your whole entire food plot or a garden or whatever and you realize that uh, you didn't use enough bags, we'll just go over it again, you know? So it just takes a little bit longer, but um, yeah, I'll show you here, going over this bump, what I have to do when I get to some bad spots. So you can see here, I got stuck. This might be a little bit hard to show, but I literally have to grab the front of it and just walk it. So there you have it thing is perfect for spreading lime. 